This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Full Sail University. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. And I got a few requests from uh, some of my viewers here to show, you know, what do I carry normally when I do travel? And now, uh, this is going to be most of the stuff I took down to CES with me this past week. And uh, this is going to be a lot of my gear I use to capture some of the videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to go start off with this. And I'll have the links down below in the description box for most of the items that I can find um, online here. So if you want to check out any of these items, you can. So anyway, I'm going to first start off with the uh, my favorite bag. This is my go-to bag when I travel to keep my tech safe and organized. This is the Think Tank shape shifter bag and this is a very cool bag because it has a nice um, extra zipper right here that can compress down the bag um, so you'll see here as I unzip me this how much you know space normal space that this would normally uh, be taken up and since it does have this extra uh, zipper here it makes it a lot easier to walk around the show floor and uh, not be bumping into people knocking over things so this is a nice bag called the shape shifter coming from think tank and then we go ahead and start here with the front pocket to see what we have in here and one of the first things is a uh, SD card case that I use uh, from Pelican. Uh, it's a very nice durable case. You can put your SD cards in here and normally they will stay in these little slots. Uh, but again, nice way to keep everything organized and safe and sound coming from Pelican. Uh, now my next two things are going to be what I need to keep me always powered and ready to go. I carry a couple of these around. These are the power stations uh, from uh, Mophie. Uh, this is the, I guess the mini, this is the call of it. Yep, this is the Power Station Mini. I guess this is the uh, Power Station Pro or Dual Pro, or whatever, because it has uh, a couple USB ports here where you can plug in devices like an iPad or a cell phone and fully charge it. I think this thing would charge up an iPhone like six times or, or so. I can't remember. Uh, but this little mini will be able to charge my phone up, I think, about two times before this battery goes. And I just put this in my pocket and just walk around with the cable, and this thing works perfectly. So those are things that really saved my life. And now, I always like to carry an Ethernet cable because uh, you never know when you'll be able to get some nice, good Ethernet wired internet instead of the wireless which can definitely be slower than ethernet so i love having an ethernet cable there and we're going to get into oh we're getting to this top pocket right here before i go into the main compartments um so my go-to headphones are the bose qc15s these um, are some very nice noise cancellation headphones of course they have really good sound quality coming from bose um, very comfortable easy to wear for a very very long time and uh, these are the limited edition that just came out not too long ago. They blue, normal color, silver. Um, but these things I've been using for the past two years, maybe now, maybe even longer. Uh, these things just haven't failed me yet. So I really love uh, the Bose QC15s. This little thing right here comes from Kingston. This is a Y drive. And so this allows me to say my iPad is, is full of videos. Um, and, and movies and content and stuff like that applications but I still want to take more videos on the go with me and this Y drive allowed me to wirelessly connect to this thing via my my iPad and my iPhone and uh, I'll be able to watch any movies and stuff that I have on this on my iPad again you just power it on connect uh, through the application on your iPad and it will be wirelessly streaming that content so this I think this is like a 32 gigabyte uh, this is an extra 32 gigabytes of storage that you can use for your iPad which definitely can come in handy on some long flights or international flights and things like that and and I think that is almost it. I always carry a couple of uh, uh, these little uh, wisp uh, toothbrushes here that I can use to, to freshen up my breath for the ladies or really just if I'm doing any interview like that after I ate uh, something, I don't want to have my breath sinking. So anyway, that's it for the front pockets here. Now I'm going to get into the main compartments here. All right, first we'll start off with my camera that I like to take with me on the go. Uh, this is the Canon X-A10. I did review this bad boy. Let me move this bag out the way. Uh, but I did review this uh, bad boy. Uh, a few months ago, um, very awesome camera, um, very nice professional, semi-professional camera, I guess you can say. Um, has a couple of XLR uh, ports here for your audio needs. And uh, this is a great video camera because when I go in the go, normally I'm a one-man team when I go to something like CES or EFO or E3. And so I don't really want to mess with the focus of the DSLR. So this autofocus with this uh, camcorder works great. And this is an awesome, awesome camera, which I love. And that is the XA10. And let's see what else we have in here. As far as my audio needs, um, I didn't show off too much at CES this year, but I normally carry this uh, Zoom H4n, uh, which is pretty awesome for uh, any of your um, audio recording needs. Again, it has some XLR uh, inputs there as well. And I use that in conjunction with uh, these Sennheisers here. Uh, these are the, uh, this is the EW100 series. Um, anyway, this is the, uh, the receiver and the transmitter there that I can usually plug in my, my lavalier mic uh, in here. And then I have this going to receiver. Then I'll probably have this uh, receiver plugged into the H4N, and that's how I'll be recording my audio. I didn't really do that much at e, uh, E3, but the CES this year, but that's how I'll probably normally do it from now on. And then I have a couple of these uh, clear bags from uh, 
tom bin that i like to use to, to keep all of my cables and stuff organized uh, there's nothing like having a lot of cables all around so i have batteries in here i have a little bit of everything uh, as you can probably see in here from uh a lot of different uh, connections and things like this. Uh, Thunderbolt to Ethernet connection there for my MacBook Pro. I'm getting ready to show you here in a second. And just a lot of different cables in here that I like to carry around with me. Now, one thing I, I uh, will show you in this bag. Excuse me, I'm still sick. I'm over here sniffling and stuff. Anyway, this is the uh, Samsung uh, Go microphone. Uh, this is a pretty nice uh, portable USB condenser microphone uh, and this will allow you to get better audio than what your built-in microphone will probably bring you from your computer um, again it's not gonna be the best sometimes I take my full flash microphone uh, but this one is a good one again small portable connects via USB and uh, it's definitely gonna be uh, better than your built-in microphone in most cases and now as far as the computer that I use I like to carry around the MacBook Pro Retina uh, this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina it has replaced my MacBook Air 13 inch that I've used to use uh, for the past couple years now but this is my go-to laptop it's not that heavy because uh, uh, of the new design so it's definitely not a I don't really miss my 13 inch MacBook Air at least I'll say that and the last thing I'm about to show you is my backup camera that I, I carry around with me it's the Sony RX100 so I'm actually recording me on this camera that I'm showing you here in this separate video but uh, this camera is awesome I've been raving about this camera ever since I got it this uh, back in 2012 um, this is, I think it's the perfect portable digital camera fits in your pocket but gets you DSLR type of quality for your pictures and videos and you really can't go wrong with this camera uh, but other than that I didn't show you the weapon that I normally carry just in case you try to rob me uh, but anyway this is most of the stuff I do like to carry to these shows so anyway guys I'm about to wrap up this video but before we head out here I'm going to take one that's look at our sponsor for this video between the App Store and Google's Play Store there have been over 50 billion applications downloaded so if you're trying to get into this marketplace Full Sail University can help you out with their online mobile development bachelor's degree program and in this degree, they can teach you both the business and the programming side of mobile development to give you a head up against the rest of the competition. And through their project launch box program, students receive a MacBook Pro that's going to be fully loaded with industry software, plus they get iOS and Android devices to help with their development. And so if you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullcell.edu forward slash soldier to learn more about this online degree program. Again, that's fullcell.edu forward slash soldier. All right, again, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about all the products that I show you. And again, this is my TSA stopper bag because every single time I take this through TSA, I definitely get stopped uh, for extra search. But anyway, guys, leave a comment down below what you think about this video and also any products that you like to take with you on the road. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.